If you've watched any of my videos where I use my enlarger, then you have seen me either tape or hold my filters under the lens. And I'm sick of it. So today we're going to make a filter holder. Welcome to the Naked Photographer, where I'll be exposing myself. No, 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 I won't. Mm -hmm. That's not better in my head. Kodak and Ilford both made under the lens holders for filters that used a three set screw system. The problem with that is they're very small and they're made for small lenses. It's okay for that, but for my 8x10 film, I use a 300 millimeter lens that has a much larger barrel. So the small filter holders from both of those companies won't work. So what I have decided to do is to make my own holder that goes under the lens. Now Devere, the maker of my enlarger, has a red filter that swings under the lens available. I don't have one, but there is a mount for a 5 16 inch screw next to the lens that I'm going to use just a regular bolt to go into. So then I need to make some kind of plate to hold my filter. There are ready-made options. I could use a Lee brand uh, generic filter holder that uses a rubber band to go around the barrel of the lens, but those only hold four inch filters. So I'd have to cut my six inch filters down. Then I could possibly use a Kodak gel filter holder that uses a series nine barrel mount or three set screw system as well. I might have some big enough in diameter but those also only hold four inch filters. So to use a six inch, I'm going to make a simple plate for the filter to sit on under the lens that then attaches to that post. All right, to start, I've got a piece of foam board here um, and I've got the bolt that's going to go into the hole for the mount. So let's put that on there. What I'm going to do is find out where this goes in relation to the uh, the mount and that bolt's not even long enough. Take on it. Okay, stop that one. All right, I'm back and I've got bolts that fit. Nothing like stopping your production to uh, go to the hardware store. It's fun. Okay, so the way that I'm going to do this uh, to figure it out is I've got a piece of foam core. Uh, I've got a six inches wide, which is the width that I'm going to use, and I'm going to take this bolt. Let's see which one I can use. Got a five inch and a six inch. I think the five inch is perfect. So let's put that on there. I'm gonna put this in the right spot. And I'm gonna snug it up to the um, the lens cap on here. Now I could make this easy. Use a piece of black foam core instead of using a bolt like I am here, which has a uh, smooth smooth length, I could use a piece of threaded rod of the right uh, thread pitch and whatnot. And then sandwich the foam core between two nuts and flat washers. And that would keep it horizontal. <clears throat> um, it'd be cheap and it'd be easy. But if I did things easy, then I wouldn't exactly have a channel, now would I? Besides, I've got two good reasons for making things more difficult. One, uh, I do this stuff for your entertainment and you wouldn't have that if I made things super easy. And two, uh, my doctor is my wife's cousin, so nothing th makes Thanksgiving more fun than hear him complain about my blood pressure. So I've got to find ways to get that up. And this is a good example of it, like stopping to go get a bowl. All right. So what I'm going to do is center this up left and right up against the lens cap. That way I know where my hole should be spaced in relation to the, uh, the hole for the bolt in relation to the hole for the lens. I'm using the lens cap so I can make sure I get the right size hole. So uh, in order to get these attached, I could draw a circle but uh, I'm actually going to do that a little bit later and, and I tend to slip and get more frustrated. So instead, this gives me a good opportunity to use a glue gun to keep that together. So, 
knife hack, knife hack, knife hack. The glue is set, so now I'm going to undo the bolt and take the lens cap with me. Now I can trace around it without accidentally moving stuff. So let's measure that. And this is just to get a measurement. I'm actually going to be using a different material for the actual holder, but this lets me see how far away from here I need to be from the small hole. So let's transfer this to my actual material that I'm going to cut and we'll cut it outside. Then we'll come back. So here's the finished product. It's a 5 16 inch bolt in my case. And then the sheet is phenolic resin called Garolite. It's a 16th of an inch thick, about one and a half millimeters. And then the way I attach it is pretty simple. I just put a hole in the sheet and then I've got one of these little um, gaskets that has a groove in it around here that's a 16th of an inch thick. So I pushed it into the hole in the Garolite, the phenolic resin, and then the bolt up through it. So now I've got a nut here that I can use to tighten up against the enlarger. <clears throat> so let's put this in. Get that to the right height for that lens. And yeah, I like it right there. Okay, so I'm gonna tighten that nut. And there we go. So I can move that out of the way so it won't interrupt the enlarger if I'm doing something else. And then I can just slide it into place. So I've got a filter. Here we go. So I can just put that right on top of there. And I've got exactly what I need. So it does not have to be as difficult as what I made it out to be. Um, I just want something a little bit more permanent, a little bit more rigid. But as I said earlier, I could have used a threaded rod instead of a bolt. That way I could customize the length, just trim it off. <clears throat> and then I could have used Garolite, I could have used foam core, whatever, for the plate. And then uh, a couple of nuts to uh, just hold that rigid. But now I've got a filter holder. I'm just gonna sand the edges smooth later. And that's it. Now I can be hands-free, don't have to tape anything. And that should make my printing just a little bit more efficient in time. Thanks again for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And if you have a way you want to tell me that I should have done it and I didn't, uh, there's a comment section. Knock yourself out. Thanks a lot.